Hello? Okay, Amanda, Matajaki. Oh my god, Cass. What about I get happy? Oh, wow, that, that's good news, babes. Okay. Obviously, I'm not going to talk about it. No, no, no. Look, of course I am. It's just like so too rabbit. It's a congratulations, love. <sighs> okay, Cass, what about King? Eric, you look horrible, okay? Okay. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye. Hang on, she's two years younger than me and already engaged? These gentle whispers pass like Sunday afternoons The way lovers spend their time involved so deep I can feel the surrender as the room quiets down and we begin Get him to that altar. The rules of engagement. Rule number one. Never panic. Instead, distract yourself. Steal the whispers between us, the crowd and the room. There's delay in the words we say. No more bad days. No more turning the other cheek It's over now Is what you're saying to me Before you leave I mean, look at that train in silk chiffon I mean, if it's too elaborate, we can do a simpler design Oh yeah, simplicity can be very striking Kaz, I just want There's no reason for you to stay up all night, okay? Kiazeba It's just that when you're two years younger than me Maunyeji, you guys have the perfect family And then now, well, my mother stayed single These things are not hereditary And you know very well how a family are perfect Eh, my wife is a girl in high school Most people don't meet in school and they get married Mm-hmm, in fact, a lot of people meet at work and look, we've got lots of eligible bachelors just breaking down the doors here at Kaz's bridal boutique. I could say, maybe you should try the personals. Internet dating or something. Oh, can you imagine anything worse? <laughs> <laughs> it's a mess. A disaster, I tell you. Oh, no, here we go again. Can be high. Um, you know, whatever it is, I'm sure Amanda and I can fix it. That bloody Gwyneth, wearing my dress at the Oscars. Well, the, the, it was just the cape. The dresses are quite different. And in any case, you're going to make it look a thousand times better. Cassandra, I don't want people comparing my gown to anything. Scrap that gown. I want something, something brand new. Actually, we've got some brand new designs right here. And look at this train in silk chiffon. If that's too elaborate, we can do a simpler design. Simplicity can be very striking. <sighs> I like this. Yeah, that's your first dress. See, my instincts are always spot on. What? After the Rocco Jetaro. I'm allowed to change my mind. We don't have that dress anymore. We sold it. What? That's my dress. Get it back. <gasps> Seriously? You would want to wear a dress somebody else has already worn? Well, then why did you sell it? <gasps> Welcome to Cass's Bridal Boutique. Here, we sell dresses. No, we can make another one. We're gonna need a deposit on that one. So you thought I wouldn't pay for all dresses? No, of course not. It's just that that dress took up a lot of our silk stock. Mm. You pretty. Not quite beautiful. But shame. Still, you've got striking features. Um, thanks. This should be a hobby, Cassandra. Worrying, especially about money. It's terrible for your skin. And how's the love life? Well, I don't think that's appropriate. Good, you're single. I know just the guy. Someone who will give you the taste of the good life. And once you learn how to handle a wealthy man, the world will be your oyster. I don't know about that. It's just... It's... Why? I'm busy. Okay, I'm busy here and, um, in fact, the only days I have free are on Sundays. Exactly, which is why you need a wealthy man. His name is Dennis and he'll call you within the hour. Well, that was kind of cool. <laughs> he'll be a hunchback, Garobot. Cassandra's <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brawl Boutique? Yes. 
Okay, yeah, Sunday lunch would be great. Okay. Whoa, she works fast. <laughs> Number two, always leave something to the imagination. But that's so boring. the least I can do, right? Ah, a handyman. <laughs> I try. Yeah. There you go. Oh. oh, thank you very much. I can show you how I fix that. Okay. Oh, yeah, so all I did really was just bend. Oh, gosh, I probably smell like a wet dog, right? No, no, I mean, it's fine. No, it, it, it's okay. It's just I'm, I'm cajizo. I'm a vet. Occupational hazard, you know. And I'm um, cancer. Okay. Oh, well, well, thank you. Thanks for your help. Sure. Uh, you can keep this in case it happens again, you know. No, oh, thank you very much. And don't worry, your boyfriend will be way too in charge to even notice you don't have an earring on. Um, uh, actually, no boyfriend. It's just a date. Well, he'll only have eyes for you. Thank you, um, Gahiso, the vet. You're welcome, Miss Kaz, the uh... the designer. The designer. Okay. Right, okay. Unfortunately, I have urgent business in Dubai, and I'm about to board a plane, Dennis. Can I actually get me the ball, please? Can stood up. Okay. Rule number three, always let him pick you up. Remember, you are the prize. Quick. Well, let's just say he didn't quite meet my expectations. Oh, um, I'm sorry. Well, yeah, I guess truly single men without girlfriends or secret wives hidden somewhere are a dime a dozen, right? I guess. Oh no, one of my wedding dresses, he has a fiance. <laughs> Great. Oh, well, uh, here you go, thanks. Number four, always make sure you have options. around the bed. You told Bridezilla Tembi to go stuff herself. <laughs> no. Joined a cult? No, wait, I know. Now, uh, you... listen here. You are now looking at an internet date. Oh, what, what, what? Yes. 
advice. Yes, I took your advice, put up six profiles, and I've already got two responses. But don't Cass, I was only joking. I know, but you know, why not? The internet is full of freaks, Gorge. Oh, eh, well, then I guess I'm a freak too. How can you say that? Look at you. You meet the man of your dreams at 16. And as for Tembi, she's probably the most unlikable customer I've ever had. But she's got a millionaire. And then there's my neighbor, the vet. He smells like a diseased dog. And even he has one of my garments hang up in his apartment. Ooh, a transvestite. No, oh, it probably belongs to his fiance. Look, it doesn't make you a freak. I just got lucky. Mm. Wait a minute. This has something to do with your hunchback date, ne? Stood me up. How about you? Sorry, ne? No, no, no. I am going to get someone to marry me, even if it's the last thing I do. Even if it means I have to follow the rules down to the letter. Okay, well, hold on there. Don't give out your address to strange internet men. You know what? You can follow the rules as much as you like, but just not that bit. Hmm, new email, 61. Cassandra. <laughs> Darling. Oh, Dennis. What a brute. It's okay, Timby. Oh, I'm glad you understand. Rule number five, never react emotionally. Dennis is a tycoon. He can't always be available for just any girl. So what do you have for me? Here we go. Ooh, was it always so white? Well, that's what you wanted. Cassandra, darling, you're supposed to be the creative one. Um, okay, what color theme is the wedding? Gold. Lovely, uh, we can put a, a gold lace over the skirt. Do it. Gold lacing. Cassandra, this is abuse. <sighs> Ooh, okay. 40 new emails. <laughs> oh, for internet psychos. Uh, and I'm about to confirm my first date with Rosebank Romeo. And then date number two. And three. <laughs> you hussy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Romeo. Uh, Cassandra. Wow, so your name really is Romeo. You should go blonde. <laughs> oh, boy. Seriously? Hmm. A designer. But this is a which is good for a woman. So, Dumisani, tell me exactly how much time have you spent as a woman? What? Well, you seem to know so much about us, so. Watch your mouth, dear. Cheeky woman I left on the shelf. <sighs> what a schmuck. You back from another date? No, oh, man. <laughs> Didn't go very well. No, got stood up again. <sighs> what happened to your shirt? Oh, it's all got to come to man. Didn't come out, but like it's. Yeah, I forget that not everyone is interested in animals. No, look, I, I can fix that for you. Oh yeah, please. Yeah. No. Cass, you like your work, eh? Yeah, that I do. You're like a dog. <laughs> hey, watch it, mister. I've got a very sharp object in my hand and I'm not afraid to use it. <laughs> <laughs> no, I meant that as a compliment. Like a healthy dog lives its life to the full. You know, like you do. You're, you're out every night, enjoying yourself every night. <laughs> I'm still not sure I like that comparison. <laughs> I've got this friend, yeah, he's a GP, mm -hmm. and he's got a patient with cancer. And the guy has literally just gone into remission, and he started smoking again. Oh, what? I know, that's just crazy. I know, it's like, so typical of human beings, though, you know, not understanding what's important in life. Instead, all they're concerned about is looking good, instead of, like, feeling good, you know? I know, right? I mean, I see women starving themselves all the time just to fit into their wedding gown. <laughs> Meanwhile, the guy she's marrying has a cut up to here. <laughs> 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 and and Seppo, uh, my GP friend, he's got a thing with internet dating. It's like another human idiocy that I just do not get. <laughs> and the women, like, 
the ring, you know, they chase it. It's like an obsession. They have to get married, they have to get married. Well, there's nothing wrong with marriage. Oh, no, don't get me wrong. Like, I, I love the institution, you know, just not to the point of obsession. Well, I'm done. There we go. Now we're even. Jeez. Thanks, Cass. This was a gift, you know? Fine, don't worry about it. Thanks. is a hazard to women's mental health and he should come with a warning. Dennis, he's back in town. Hmm. Isn't that the millionaire? Shouldn't you be more excited? Yeah, yeah. Who did you actually think they were from? Ugh, I'm just being silly. Huh? Cass. Cass brought a boutique. No, I'm, I'm actually um, not available this week. Rule number six, forbidden fruit. The less available, the more tempting. Yeah, sure, I, I guess I can do Sunday. Okay. Dennis. So what, are you expecting your vet to be unengaged by Saturday? I can't face her. I think I'm going to lose my mind. And I and her rich buddies. Hi, 
so. Uh, uh, are you having a party or what? <laughs> the group was pumping. <laughs> no, it's just I assume people would be at work. Oh no, um, I work on Sundays and I only get Mondays off. Just going for emergencies and stuff. What's your excuse? Well, I, I guess the joys of self-employment. <laughs> <laughs> This is definitely my favorite look. Definitely. <laughs> you know, it's, it's a pity just to waste a day. So I thought maybe we could go for lunch. Well, now you're asking me out on a date. Uh, well, Sorry. I was just... It's just I've been on so many dates and I'm exhausted. And it's, it's just been a lot. <laughs> now it won't be a date. Well, you know how people are always so worried and stressed about the first kiss and the assessment of the first kiss on the first date? Now we don't have to worry about it at all. Well, um, I, I didn't quite get a chance to make my assessment there, so... <laughs> Do you want to get that? <laughs> It might be important. Hello? Cassandra, I have had it with that bitch seamstress of yours. Okay, Tembi, what, what's wrong? I adore you, and you know I love to support a talented sister, but that uppity little... Hey, Amanda is my cousin. You want your designs in all the society pages. Then you get rid of her. What happened this time? Just do it! Uh, are you, okay? you know, Tembi Koza is a real diva. Oh, trust me, she always has been. Oh, you know her? Yeah, well, I went to school with her brothers, you know, and they just gave in to her, whatever she wanted. You know, she seriously can't expect me to fire Amanda. Yeah, just ignore her. Yeah, just ignore her. Amanda, I know that she is impossible. But you know, she'll be out of her hair in a week. Uh, uh, how about she called me the poor cousin? Umbujaore, I'm just a chanter hanging on your coattails. Hired out of family loyalty. Oh, wow, one trial of Excuse us, You know, I know that Timbi is impossible, but it's the vet. He kissed me. The engaged vet? Well, I think I saw his fiance break up with him the other day. Oh, so he's on the rebound. I know, I know I should be pessimistic and hedging my bets. It's just that he's like, he's like a dream, your soulmate, the messiah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, when? Okay, now don't lie. <laughs> okay, okay. It's delicious, <laughs> seriously, but not as delicious as you are. <laughs> whoa, whoa. Um, Hello? It's off. The wedding is off. No, wait, Tembi, what? Just cancel the dress, Cassandra, okay? No, no, Tembi, wait. <sighs> Tembi's wedding is off. What? I shouldn't be thinking about myself. I'm such a bad person, but... But you're thinking that it would have been great for the business, right? Yeah, it's just what we needed. I'm sorry, Kaz. And she... How can you just cancel it like that? No. Thanks. Hey, how did you do No, with Tembi's wedding off, there's not much to do. And besides, I'm enjoying this series of books. Yeah. Wanna read? Okay. Mm -hmm. <sighs> Let's see what the paper has for us today. Ooh, Cass! Mandla Masinga frequented a Santin club where women are available for VIP clients. He was often late coming home to her lavish dinners that she loves to host. And Tim B made excuses for him because he's a driven businessman. Mm, <laughs> Amanda, so that's not very nice. And besides, who well, did your business here? <laughs> at my place tonight, Kaz. 
Number seven, if he cancels, always make other plans. Hey. Hey there. You in Josie? Yep, wanna meet up? Bistro Hyde Park. 30 minutes. Black cocktail dress. Green tie. Great, done. Uh, hi. You look amazing. You'd have to dress up for me. Oh. <laughs> Where are you going? Um, I was actually going to go get the mail. Uh, okay. <laughs> and you, I, I thought you were just gonna... Oh, yeah. I just asked someone to come for me, you know? I hate cancelling our plans. Oh, so sweet. So, should we go get dinner? Yeah, definitely. <laughs> what? <A> roast? <laughs> Just for you. Well, oh, thank you. <laughs> uh, Kaz. Hmm? If you're just gonna go get the mail, then... Why did you have your evening bag with you? Um... Just another internet date, right? You know about that? Well, I showed Sepp a photo of yours a few days ago and he, he recognized you, you know? Look, I, I was going to tell you. No, I mean, I get it. I guess the way I went on and on about it. But I assumed that you'd stopped. Uh, no, I, I mean, I mean, yes. Look, I'll delete all my online profiles. Oh, how many do you have? What's this? Um, it's just inspiration for me. This is... This is strange, Cassandra. I mean, you're, you're just looking for a guy to fill this idea that you have of romance. You know, like any guy, you're just gonna cut and paste him in. That's, that's weird. going to let this get to me. Sweetie, love is kind of persistent. No, no, who said anything about love? Sorry. Oh. Look, I'm, I'm in no state to be around people. Just take the day off. Really, Cass, I don't mind. No, go. Go prepare for your wedding. And I'll be fine. At least one of us is getting married. Okay, are you sure? Just go. Just All right. Go. Okay. <laughs>
tell Roberto that if he doesn't give me what I want, he's fired. Tell me. Cass, the wedding's back on. Don't you read? Two days. Okay. Snap, snap. What have you got for me? Okay. Hey. Oh, that is hideous. But it's what you wanted. Cassandra, darling, it's called a white wedding for a reason. Okay, um, come back tomorrow. Hmm. Amanda, Tambi's wedding's back on. You need to come back now. Open the door to the room. So, <clears throat> I can jiggy do jiggy a day with no customers. I decided to rub his face in it. So I got myself a date. Oh, yeah, Lenya Long From the net? Mm -hmm. hmm. You know that whole saying about doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result? So the hours you spend with me laughing and playing, it's all free. There's no pressure for you to be loving anyone but you, baby. Standing alone in a room of your imaginings Half set free Running your fingers on roots Where love has been What I look, I was quite wide away. Oh, honey. You've never seen such a beautiful bride, have you? <laughs> you can be free <laughs> with me No one begging you to give it for the love of living No tripping all day it's easy, you must believe me. Just relax, Just relax. take your time, know your mind. <laughs> Never. Kaz, hello? Oh, yes, yes, I'm also here. No, no, it's fine, I'll come find you. Okay, bye. He's here. The vet? No, he'll probably also be here. It's my date. Mm. Hi. Mm. Hi. Um, okay, just go down to the chapel and I'll find you there. All right. me that you'd fire this bitch. What? Oh, uh, well, I didn't. You said you'd fire me for her. Yes. I mean, no. After making me work two nights in a row, finishing her dress. Ladies, can't we just get along? I want her out of here. No problem. Tembi, that was not fair. What's okay, Kaz? It's one thing to suck up to people because they have money. Fella wena. You're spineless. Lord, the groom is a brave man. Did you see the mother of the bride? Well, that's what the groom is going to be facing in 20 years. Oh. oh sorry. I'm so sorry. What the hell was that? This is a wedding and a very important wedding, and this is how you act. You know what? Just go. You can't just dump me like that. Well, I am. Go. 
Oh. You stupid little dressmaker. How could I have thought that for one moment that you could fit in with these high-class people? You know what? Just get out. Leave. I want you out of here, Cass. Leave. Relax, Tim. Are you okay? Yeah. Like you really care. Sorry? If you had done the same thing, you'd say you didn't want to be exclusive. I'd have to take it or leave it, right? I didn't know that you don't want to be exclusive, Cassandra. No. I mean, I mean, I did want to be exclusive. Yeah. You were engaged like, what, five minutes before we got together? Oh, you think I didn't know? Your fiancé breaks up with you, and you come knocking on my door. Talk about cutting and pacing, you hypocrite. My fiancé passed away 16 months ago. That was her sister that came to pick up the wedding gown that I was holding on to. And finally, I let it go to make space for you. Yeah. Yeah. Boutique? Yes, that was one of ours. Yes, Timmy was a stunning bride. Oh, um, Thursday. That's right, perfect. Okay, bye. Kaz Bridal Boutique? A week? I'm afraid we're understaffed. Okay. Amanda, it's, it's Kaz. Look, I started on your wedding gown. I, I just don't know what to do with it. So call me back, please. I'm sorry. It's not just that Tembi was a big client, but I've always believed that being a bride was so special, and more special than anything. But Amanda, not as special as working with someone as brilliant as you. Your family. Which is my my cousin back. And lose my wedding dress? Never. Come here. Wow, I should say, hey, you know, Tembi's wedding did actually have the desired effect. We have two new orders, ten bridesmaids in total. Yeah. <laughs> so, have you heard from him yet? No word yet. Sorry. Vicky, come over this way. So? Here's to friendship, mm -hmm. our newfound business success. Oh, yes. And no more wedding obsession. <laughs> Cheers to that. <laughs> What's up, Wano Kwagai? I can't check out. But I do hope I get married one day. <laughs> and then your delicious neighbor, ask one man. Look, Cass, you got me back with I'm sorry. 
surely wouldn't hurt to try it on him. Dear Gahiso, I'm writing this in the hope that you'll understand and forgive me. Because the truth is that long before you kissed me, when I thought you were getting married to someone else, I enjoyed getting to know you as a friend. I've spent my life scared of being alone, and because of this, I messed up what we had. Finally, now I'm truly alone. I want you to know that what we had was real and very special to me, and that there was never anyone else. Too busy. Can we talk? No. I, I mean, yes. It's always tough seeing these CBB bags. Yeah, I realize that now. Look, guys, I'm sorry. I didn't know. Yeah. You know. The thing is, I just thought that um, when I saw your face on that dress... Oh, just... I, I burnt that book, by the way. Well, that was my fiancé's dress. Anneli? Yeah. I mean, she searched and searched for that dress. She had a very particular sense of style. A lot like yours, actually. Yeah, well, that was one of my favorite designs. That's why it was in the book. I just thought that you were a bit... <laughs> no, no, I'm not. But, Kahiso, I'm not an alien. I know. And that's not what I'm looking for. The thing is, when I miss you, Cassandra, I miss you. You know, the things that make you uniquely you, not the things that remind me of Anele. And I miss you a lot. A lot. Can we try again? But promise me one thing. Yeah? No more cutting and pasting. No more cutting and pasting. Rule number eight. <laughs> there are no rules. Just follow your heart. And be true to yourself. <laughs>